My dear students, this is ARD. The topic of the day is accruals and prepayments. We will be starting with an expense account. Expenses are the outflows of the business. Whatever we spend to maintain the business or to run the business are expenses. Now, expenses can be accrued or owing or expenses can be prepaid or advanced. Now, what does this mean? Let me uh, uh, show you with the help of an example. Let me explain you. See, if we are paying rent and the monthly rent is $1,000, so the annual rent is $12,000. If we have paid $12,000 in a an year and the expense is also $12,000, there is neither an accrued nor a prepaid expense. Now, why does accrued or prepaid expense arises? If the monthly expense is 1000 and an annual expense is 12000 but we have paid only 10000 in a year we have used the space shop for whole 12 months but we have paid only 10 months rent that is 10000 we still owe our supplier we still owe our landlord 2000 now this 2000 that has not yet been paid to us by us is known as accrued expense expense incurred but not paid for means we have used the space for the last two months but we have not yet paid the rent for the last two months this is a current liability for the business now similarly prepaid expense now we have discussed the monthly rent is 1000 and annual rent is totaled 12000 now instead of paying the amount 12000 we have paid some extra we have paid 15000 now if we have paid 3000 extra this means we have paid some rent uh, belonging to the next year we have also paid january february march rent for the next year this is known as prepaid expense prepaid expense is expenses are paid but for not incurred expenses paid for but not incurred that we have paid some expenses in advance. We have not used such expenses, but we have paid some extra amount. This is our current asset. Whenever we have paid some extra amount that we'll be using in the future is a, is a current asset. Now, whenever an exam question comes for accruals and prepayment, that we need to make this expense account. Now, what is this expense account? This is a simple T account. There is balance BD on the debit side and the balance BD on the credit side, both of the side. Now, what is the difference? Uh, we can also remember this with the help of a mnemonic. I have used a mnemonic. Many of the teachers use it. This is P, A, then again A, and then P. This is P, A, A, P. Uh, we make it in a Z shape, P, A, A, and P. So, P-A-A-P or PAP, we pronounce it uh, as a PAP. Now, why are we using this mnemonic? Just to make sure, where does this P come? What is this P? This is prepaid. Uh, we have already discussed if we have paid some money advance, that is three months rent in advance, this rent is our asset because we have paid the rent but we have not used the space yet. This is our asset. As you are already aware, my dear students, the nature of the asset is debit. So, therefore, balance BD comes on debit side. If the balance BD, opening balance, balance brought down is coming on the debit side, so balance CD will be coming on the credit side, opposite. Always the balance CD comes on the opposite side. Then in the expense account, the accrued expense is a liability. If we have not yet paid the last two months rent, we need to pay it. Uh, as soon as possible this is a liability the opening balance of liability comes on credit side therefore the closing balance always comes on debit side so in the exam i recommend not to write the prepaid or accrued uh, instead write balance bd or balance cd so in the exams the examiner always use balance bd balance cd examiner does not write owing or prepaid we are just writing this for reference purpose. I recommend you to write PAP with the pencil and after solving the question, you need to rub it. So therefore, uh, uh, only remains, the thing that remains is balance BD and balance CD. Now let's move forward. Whenever we are paying for some expense, we'll be making an entry expense debit uh, uh, and the bank and cash will be credited. So why the expense debit? Nature of the expense is always debit. 
so expense will be debited and will be writing reference bank or cash if it is not mentioned in the question that we have paid for rent uh, through check or by cash will be always be writing bank but if the question specifically tells us that will be uh, we have paid expense through cash so then we'll be writing cash then in the at the year end all the expenses account are closed and transferred to income statement uh, will be debiting income statement and will be creating an expense account why uh, the nature of the expense account is debit but at the year end the expense account will be closed and will be creating the expense account and transferring it to uh, income statement so this is an expense account after expense account will be uh, what we'll be doing this the balance cd always uh, will be uh, making it balance bd uh, this carry one marks this balance cd accrued will comes on credit side uh, now let's move to income account uh, income account also contains accrued and prepayment now let's uh, discuss this with the help of an example see uh, if you have a shop or maybe an apartment that you want to let it on rent and I want to uh, hire that apartment on rental basis the rent that I am paying you is an expense for me I'll be making an expense account for rent and you will be making an income account why because the rent that you are receiving every month from me is an income for you now there can be two types of income one is accrued income and one is prepaid income what does an accrued income means income earned but not received yet means you have uh, given your apartment to me uh, to live and I have not yet paid you the rent why because I have asked uh, as a favor to you that I cannot pay rent right now but I need a space immediately for my family and I am promising you that I will pay you the rent uh, after three months so after three months uh, I have used your apartment for three months but not yet paid the rent for me this is an accrued expense this is a liability for me but for you this is accrued income this is an asset for you because I need to pay you the three months rent and but you uh, will be receiving rent from me sooner or later for you uh, it is a current asset accrued income is a current asset for you now uh, let's move to prepaid income now what is prepaid income uh, see if I have uh, an apartment I am living in your apartment what I have done uh, maybe the monthly rent is 50,000 multiply by 12 months I have paid you the whole year of rent in advance now I have specifically instructed you not to show me your face for the next 12 months why because I have paid you the rent in advance now I have not given some sort of favor to you uh, I am using your property I will be using it for the whole year and the full whole year I do not need you to pay any rent because I paid the rent in advance this is prepaid income for you the 600,000 check that I have given to you income received but not earned yet this means I have paid rent in advance this is an asset for me but for you it is a current liability why because uh, you have an obligation for next 12 months to provide me the apartment in the conditions specified in the contract and if you failed uh, for some for whatsoever reason you fail and you uh, do not want to give the apartment to me uh, any further I will ask for the remaining rent that I have paid you in advance this is an obligation the rent that you have received in advance and for income we make a similar but opposite account this is known as income account uh, this is known as APPA account or APPA account A P P N A. Now, why this is APPA? This is opposite. This is the mirror image. If you see an expense account in the mirror, this will be an income account. The things that are debited in an expense account will come on credit side in an income account, and things that that are credited in an expense account will come on debit side in income account. Therefore, uh, rather than using PAAP, we'll be writing APPA, accrued, prepaid, prepaid, and accrued. Now, what is this accrued rent? This is accrued income. This is uh, the rent that will be received by you sooner or later. This is an asset for you. Why? Because I will pay you the rent sooner or later. You will be uh, expecting rent from me. This is an asset for you. 
तो बैलेंस बी डी ऑफ एन एसेट ऑलवेज कम्स ऑन डेबिट साइड इफ द बैलेंस बी डी कम्स ऑन डेबिट साइड द बैलेंस सी डी विल बी कमिंग ऑन क्रेडिट साइड देन देर इज़ अ प्रीपेड प्रीपेड इनकम दिस इज़ अ लाइबिलिटी फॉर यू आई गेव यू एन एग्जाम्पल दैट आई हैव पेड यू द रेंट होल ईयर रेंट इन एडवांस एंड दिस इज अ लाइबिलिटी फॉर यू बिकॉज इफ Uh, for whatsoever you reason you do not wish to continue the rental agreement with me and you want me to empty to vacate your house i will be asking for my money back that i have given you in advance this is a liability for you and this will remain a liability uh, until and unless you have completed the whole year and you have uh, earned all the income this is a liability opening liability will be credited and the closing will be debited Uh, if you will be receiving rent from me every month, you will be making an entry. Bank or cash will be debited, and income account or is always credit. The nature of the income is credit. Whenever income increases, it's it is credited, and whenever an expense increases, it will be debited. And similarly, at the year end, all the income and expenses accounts are close to income statement will be creating income statement and will be debiting. income account so uh, what will be the example of this income account there can be rent received account or rent receivable account sometime right examiner writes rent receivable actually it is rent receive account there can be fees account that uh, there can be commission receive account that can be advertising income account so any sort of income account uh, will be making this appa again appa is the mnemonic for just you to remember and i recommend not to use appa in exam uh, will be using it uh, with a pencil and then removing it once this is over so i hope students i was able to uh, explain you the concepts underlying accruals and prepayments accruals are also known as owing or outstandings and prepayments are also known as uh, payments in advance so if you like the video kindly share this lecture with all your friends and others who may be studying accounting and kindly subscribe to my channel and comment section please tell me that whether i was able to explain you the concepts